Welcome back. It's Ilan with another video and I want to do round four of the Slaying My Samples series. I'm really excited about this intro as you can tell because I have really made a lot of good progress and I can't wait to introduce the products for the next round. I feel like I've, I've gained momentum and I want to get into it. So if you are curious, stick around. All right, so first let me get this out of the way. If you like the sample series, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you like the content on this channel, please consider subscribing. It would be awesome. So we've done round uh, one, two, and three, and I did some empties for round one and two and three, and now we're getting into four. I want to take a moment before going into everything on the side, my side here on your left, I want to go over the box. And that was the infamous samples box. And it is right behind me, so I'm going to tilt my head. Do you see all that empty space right there? Is that not exciting? The box is almost half empty. I just, I kind of have to pinch myself because that is amazing progress to me. And uh, it's, if I had known this could happen within three months, I, I don't know that I would have necessarily believed it up front, but I'm really excited that um, now when I look at the box, it's half empty. Now, of course, this box is only what I started with. I haven't added more samples in because that would kind of defeat the purpose. I wouldn't be able to see what my progress is, if that makes sense. So I am very happy to see it in this way. And I also want to use my old samples first. I don't want to introduce any new stuff because I don't know what's old and what's new. And I think it's a lot better to use up our old stuff before cracking into new stuff, especially when samples are sealed. So they should be able to last for a while. So how are we going to do this? I have some categories here. I have one, two, three, four, five categories that I'm going to be adding, going through with you, and then adding to my samples jar. Like what you see right here, oh gosh, it's got fingerprints all over. What you see here, these are the only samples, whoa! <laughs> these are the only samples I have left. What's in my hand and the two that went on the floor. And most of them are primers and I'm happy to report that I only have one or two primers in here to add to the primers. Primers take forever to finish as I mentioned uh, in the empties video that just went up and um, and so I'm very happy to be pretty much done with the primers. I'm lying there's one set of primers that is right up here. Those are uh, Smashbox primers and I'm not concerned about using those because once I'm done all these other primers that are unknown to me, those will be easy to use. These are just primers that I'm not familiar with, which I think there's a bigger barrier to using something when you haven't used it before, you want to wait for the right day, you don't want to have a bad makeup day. And uh, and so these are a lot more scary to me than, than those that are left in the box. Um, so I'm going to pick up the samples I dropped and then get into uh, the first category of these new samples that are going to be added, that was loud, that are going to be added to the jar. So hang on. I'm going to go with a number of categories. So I have here some creams. I have some masks. I have um, some hair treatments of different types and shampoo and conditioner. And I also have a miscellaneous pile of stuff that I didn't know how to categorize properly. So we're just going to go section by section. I'll show them to you. I don't want to go into a whole lot of explanation. I think that could stay for the empties, but I do want to show you what they are. So the first category, I'm going to say creams. I have um, from Josie Moran, a pure argon milk intensive hydrating treatment. So I wasn't sure whether to put this into the creams or whether to put it into the masks, but anyway, it's there. I have a couple of eye brightening, so C brightener eye treatment by Tarte. Six of these, thanks Sarah, the Ceramidin by Dr. Jart. So I'll be using those. So this turns out to be a total of nine creams. 
Now, I am not much of a mask person, and I have a bunch to get through. So I need to just start using these things. Let's see what there is in here. There's the Dia Dream Skin One Minute Mask. The Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment, which I've heard a lot of people use. I've got a couple of... Ooh, That was fun. A couple of the Luminizing Black Mask, uh, Peel Off Mask by Bosha. Now, is this the one that hurts? Oh, I'm getting a little nervous. Well, I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> it can't be worse than that. Wax my legs. It can't be worse than that. Okay, let me put these down before they fall all over again. An Origins Clear Improvement Active charcoal mask to clear pores. So I wonder if that will be kind of similar to the clearing mask by Glam Glow. I really don't know anything about masks. Now on to a couple of masks from La Neige, the water sleeping mask, which I have used this product before, I'm pretty sure. So those will be a no brainer. A mask by Fresh called Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. Now a lot of these I'm gonna have to look up to, to see what the instructions are. Oh, another one by Origins. This is the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. Sounds interesting. And then I have the Tata Harper Clarifying Mask blemish pr uh, for blemish prone skin. I am lucky that way. I don't really get a ton of blemishes, but if I'm having a, a bad skin day, I will know which mask to reach for. And a couple of the Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. And that, it looks like there's a lot in here. I wonder if that's enough for, oh no, well, it sound, seems like there's a pad in here or something. I guess I will find out. So there you go. Those are the masks that I have. It turns out, just looking here, it turns out to be 12 masks. On to shampoos. Uh, one conditioner and three shampoos by Paul Mitchell. So I'm going to be using those, not a problem. And then a couple of shampoo and conditioner. This one is from Hask, and it is the, I think it's called Hask, and it's the uh, charcoal with citrus oil shampoo and conditioner. And then a couple from Strivectin, and this is the volume, max volume shampoo. So we're talking about a total of eight packets of shampoo and conditioner, and I'm probably going to keep these for later in the month because I have a trip coming up, and it sounds like it's going to be just enough conditioner packets to get me through that trip. So I think that that is um, a good thing to just set aside for a little bit later in the month because it's so much easier to bring these packets as opposed to bottles when I'm traveling because I only do carry-on. I never do checked in unless I'm going on a scuba diving trip. If you want to hear about my scuba diving trips, let me know in the comments because I would love to do a get ready with me and tell you about some of the places I've been. Just a thought. Let's go into the miscellaneous that I'm not sure exactly what these guys are. I have a couple of Seaberry Skin Nutrition Boosters by Fresh. A 24 karat gold Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Prism Cream by Peter Thomas Roth. So I took that as kind of a unique product. I have a Bronzing Perfector 3-in-1 Face Primer. A Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Glow Pad for Face, which I absolutely love these things. And then this thing, which is a uh, from Needles No More, it's a 3D filler mask. And these things scare me. So I've got a couple of these to try. I don't know what they're all about. No idea. I just think it's going to be something thick and goopy on the face. I'm not sure. Anything goopy I'm not big on. If you haven't already figured that out from the foot balm a couple of videos um, from the, the beauty box, if you're curious. So those are the kind of oddball products that I just decided to gather up and just start using because I've been getting more comfortable with trying some products that I have never used. I guess you 
use enough samples, you kind of get better at it. So um, I'm thinking, go for it. And I'm really happy, by the way, to have started with emptying the box with products that I was more comfortable with, um, because I think it just gave me a little bit of a, a dipping my toe in the water and then getting in a little bit more progressively. So I'm um, really happy with that. So I'm going to put these down. It turns out to be seven oddball products. The last category that I have is some miscellaneous hair products. And I have to admit that in this new set of samples, I have cheated a little bit. I have already opened up one of these and I'm using it. So I have two of these total. The Bumble and Bumble BB Curl Style Anti-Humidity Gel Oil and says for uh, glossy, elongated curls, uh, ringlets to corkscrews. And I have tried this because I'm trying to go back to my uh, natural curl. I kind of have between curly and wavy hair. And I did try this and I did film a couple of videos with this in my hair. And I was trying to see if I could just make it work. And I didn't put it, even though I should have for the video, I didn't put it up. It looked pretty bad. <laughs> so I'll put a picture um, somewhere. I'm not sure if I'm going to go on, on the right or on the left, but I'll put a picture up. You just have to see. You probably, if you watch all my videos, you probably would have looked at those couple of videos and gone, what's going on with her hair? It was my first attempt with this product and, um, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to try it some more on days off because whew, it was rough. The next one I have is the curly, sexy hair. This is, I guess, from sexy hair curling uh, cream. So it's with C, LJ, and Kakai oil. A couple of products from Alterna Hair Care. Here I have the Caviar Anti-Aging. I have been saving these. I really, really do love this product. And uh, I will see if I maybe save one for the trip I'm going uh, on shortly. But I will definitely crack one of these open at least one of these open while I'm here in the early part of September. And then the other one is a uh, Caviar CC Cream 10 in 1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfector. That's the other one. And finally, I have a Diva Curl Melt into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. So there we go, a hair mask now. So I must have been thinking about my curls for a while <laughs> because um, I obviously have been asking for samples that deal with curly hair. So obviously, yeah, I've been, I'm finally trying to get my curls back, but this has probably been on my mind for at least a couple of months. So total for specialty hair care stuff is two, four, six, uh, seven, because I have one open, right? So seven uh, products in total for this category. Okay, guys, these two did not fit into the jar, but let me show you the jar now combined with my older and new products. I don't think I could fit anything else in there. It is jam-packed. My work is cut out for me. So there you have it. I am introducing 42 additional products to the few products I have left, like I said, mostly primers in that glass jar of mine. I will definitely be taking most of September to get through these, but that's okay. I mean, we have to kind of work through them as we can, and I don't, I don't have a rush at using them, but 42 products, especially when there, there are so many that are new, is definitely going to take me a while to get through. So yeah, that is it for the introduction to round four. I hope you found some of these products interesting and I cannot wait to report back toward the end of September on how this was and how many samples I have left. But as you can see again from that box behind me, there will not be that much more to go through. Really, it's going to be some uh, primers and then makeup, really. I've got some foundation in there, I've got some lipstick, that kind of a thing. And so that's going to be interesting to start to tackle as the next category. 
and I have a couple of ideas. But I'm not set on one yet, so I won't say anything. Well, thank you for spending so much time with me if you made it this far in the video. Uh, I will leave it at that and say I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.